Hey guys, how's it going? Trace here once again, and what the fuck was that first clip? I got no idea how the shit that even connected, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna start doing random things like that in front of a couple of my videos, just random clips, certain things like that. I might even do some random edits within the video. I'm not doing that right now because I just wanted to really knock this one out real quick, but I hope you guys have been enjoying my random edits, and look at my perfect fucking aim there. This game has really weird recoil. This is a quite an old gameplay, of course, because it is at 65 field of view, whereas now they've changed it so that we can play at 80. But yeah, end up going 33 for 6 on Octane, Vector, CRB, with Red Dot and Grip, I believe, and I think that's about all you guys need to know about the gameplay, so I hope you enjoy that. On to the topic today, which is games I think they should remake. Ooh, excuse me, I had to burp there. But, um... They remade Halo 1 and um, adding in that little dynamic where you could change from old school graphics to new to um, how they wanted it to now. I thought that was absolutely amazing and I, I was willing to pay money like full price f to just play that game again. I was in love with that game so much. It was such a classic, such a fantastic game and absolutely loved it to bits. And now they're remaking Fable, the uh, original Fable of course called Fable Anniversary. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to have to... Um, it, if it's not on Xbox 360, I'm going to have to go buy an Xbox One because I love Fable that much. It's one of my favourite childhood games and I've played the absolute ass out of that as both good, evil and a neutral character. And, um, you know, I th I'm pretty sure I've achieved everything in that game, even though it's taken me hours and hours. So those two that they've remade has really sparked a commentary out of me to um, what they should remake now. So um, first one on my list is... I reckon everyone would agree with me here, is a PlayStation 1 game called Crash Bandicoot. Now this franchise, when I was when I was little, it started going shit, you know, as of late, and you know, Naughty Dog have gone to different games, like they've made The Last of Us now, but if they remade probably the first three Crash Bandicoots and maybe Crash Team Racing, I, would, I wouldn't care if like they bought out a $250 special edition where all you got was the game and a Crash Bandicoot figure, I would pay money for that. I absolutely love Crash Bandicoot in the end, and pretty much the entire original series to death, you know, before they started doing things like Twin Sanity and Mind Over Mutant and just absolute shit like that. So um, I'm a huge, huge, huge supporter of Crash Bandicoot. So that brings me on to the next one, which is actually Spyro. Spyro was pretty much along the same sort of games as when I was a child. It was just amazing, mindless games of just sheer fun. And I, st I would still play them to date. The only problem is my um, PlayStation 1 still works and everything, but it doesn't work with new high-definition TVs, and I don't actually own an old TV. And you guys could say, go to the tip and pick one up. But I kind of can't. Like, once you've played PC and um, newer consoles, it's really hard to, s to go back a generation, and especially a couple of generations. Like, PlayStation 1 was a long, long, long time ago. Like, that came out, I'm pretty sure... Uh, before I was born, or a year or so after I was born, so almost 20 years ago, so that was a fair while ago, so, you know, it's pretty outdated now. But another one that, um, they are reigniting the series, but I still reckon they should remake the original one, is Thief. So, um, a lot of you guys might actually, mightn't actually know what Thief was about, because you had to have a pretty good computer to play it way back in the day. I used to play it at my friend's house all the time, same as Diablo. But, um... Thief is just an amazing stealth game. You just went around and you stole the king's gold. It was a very simplistic game. Um, very good first-person elements where you had to fire a bow or you had a mace and you could knock out guards. But you had to be strategic because if the bodies were found, you know, you'd be screwed. So it's kind of like what Dishonored is. Like, um, Dishonored isn't a unique game. That happened years and years and years ago with um, Thief. That's what Thief was. It was pretty much Dishonored, just not as good as graphics and not as many game dynamics. The next one is either the original Age of Empires or Age of Mythology. They were two of my favourite mindless games to play. Um, you could each, you could know if you once you finish, you could play a skirmish and they could all turn out different. Or if you were lazy like me and my father got, you could type in the cheats and just and have just as much fun calling in massive titans or shit like that. So um, that franchise is really really good, and I would love to see them just update that with a lot better graphics and maybe you know whatever whatever engine they're running on now if they're still if they're still making age of empires or whatever you know to update it to that 
I would definitely pay money for that shit. Um, what else have we got here? Abe's Odyssey. Now, this was a really unique PlayStation 1 game way, way, way back in the day where you're a little... You're an alien escaping from a different alien race that has held your people captive, captive as um, slaves. You know, you got them to work. It's kind of like um, the situation in Africa, how they were under slave, um, working in mines and things like that. It was kind of like that, but in a, you know, in an alien universe. And um, there were these little creepy guys that kind of looked like lobsters, and they'd run around with machine guns. And if they spotted you, they'd just blast the shit out of you. But you could have actually absorbed them and become them. It was a really, really fun and unique game. Like, it had very basic dynamics, but my god, it was so much fun as a kid. And the last one is... Um, Pretty much the old classic first-person shooter game. So if they remade the first couple of Medal of Honors, they were excellent games. They were back way back on PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. And um, maybe even Call of Duty 1 or 2. I had actually played the campaign of those two the other day. Um, they were actually really amazing campaign. Really good story in them. Like there was 45 or something missions in the very first Call of Duty. So they put a lot of effort into single player, which is, you know, something they don't do as of now. And guess what? Captain Price was in Call of Duty 1. Captain Price was in Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4, and so on from there. So Captain Price existed since the very first. It's been his ancestors, of course, because this was way back in World War 1 and 2. But yeah, so um, these are just a few suggestions I have of games they would remake, and I would 100% throw money at it to get them. So uh, leave a comment... You know, leave a comment down in the comment box below of a childhood game that you guys would love to see remake and one I've missed because I wasn't really a Nintendo kid, so um, I can't really comment on any of the Nintendo games. And I'm sure there's things like Perfect Dark or Zelda, Pokemon, just random things that you guys are in love with that um, I never really got to play as a kid. The only Nintendo product I ever owned was a Game Boy Color. Gotta hate being knifed, but bang, get him with my IMS. But anyway, guys, I've been Trays, I'm out. Don't forget, if you think of a game that you really think should be remade or, you know, just extended in higher graphics that you would 100% just buy it straight out and no second thoughts, definitely leave a comment about it. Anyway, guys, I've been Trays. I'm out. Really hope you enjoyed. See ya.